Hi, so here I am in the uh, Tiwi after a rainy trip today and I didn't really have much to think about for this week that's not relating to it because of the exam that went pretty well to be honest to repeat here. Uh, so let's have a little look around some of the buildings here and a couple of interesting things I will find or have found along the way. Of course the ground floor of the building didn't really have too much interesting other than that this um, used to be quite the maze when I arrived here but now I recognise everything again. Now actually you might be familiar with these uh, trash cans to separate everything apart. There used to be a cup side here with throwing an old cup but it's been sealed off. I don't know exactly why the hell they did that. Like me, that seems like a good idea. And right there of course, the paper where... There's also something to say in there but... And another of a few interesting things over in the Neuron building, that is the um, little bit of artwork in the middle. That is, I think, made of recycled plastic. As we're approaching the Luna building right there, we come across this vending machine. Now, just like the majority of them that I came across, you don't need to have to call this coin slot. It's closed off, and you have to use contactless payments, which is pretty convenient, actually. You just select your item right here on the touch screen, and there you get your, put your card. That's the interesting little thing that I haven't really seen used too much is this long bench. It's actually, um, a fixed standing desk. I don't really like the idea of a fixed standing only desk because when you want to sit down, what do you do? You have to move right there. Why didn't they put in a, uh, a motorized control? From just out of the window there you can see the uh, Travers building which holds a number of study and students and sports associations um, associated with the TUI. It's also going to house the pattern um, location, pattern being the uh, study association full data sign of course for those who don't know. The intercom right here again, why it's there, I don't really know. Um, maybe it's about people without a card to get in somehow. As I'm about to enter the Lunar but I can't really show everything because the, most of it is just accommodation. Um, they, there is a number of interesting little things over here, um, including the Uflex, which is an office where TUI students can find um, student and starter jobs. And right here, this vending machine is an interesting thing because remember how I said that most vending machines, including this one, they don't take cash. This one actually does. Um, now, I think they just forgot to uh, change this one to contactless payment only. But I've used it, I think, a couple times and it's worked every time. Now, just mind over there, you can actually see a building that it has no name. It's derelict and it's uh, ready for replacement, I think. But it does have some temporary uses as a robot football stadium or something like that. As we're currently following the route to Meta Forum, or just Meta, there is something interesting to say about the origin of the name Meta Forum. Apparently Meta is often used to uh, say in or honour something. So Meta Forum, Forum means I think square like internet forum. So it's basically a large uh, studying square on the larger TOE square. <coughs> and of course there's the library itself and therefore this could be considered effectively like the, the centre of the TOE. There are many hallways to other buildings like there, there and there. 
But next time I'm going, you're going to Meta Forum, I would recommend you have a look over here. This is what's called the Alumni Avenue, and it hides a lot of names from every single known person to have graduated TOE. So. These will stick to each other, but when you pull, <laughs> Like a lot of interesting aims on here. So you can just have a look here if you want to. This um, passage goes to the innovation space over there, which is just a standard university laboratory for people to try out their own ideas and perform experiments. So an interesting thing is that Right there is the auditorium, more on that later. That's Atlas, more on that later as well. But there is no bridge between Audi and the Vertigo building over there, which is mostly used by the Department of the Built Environment. And um, we as data science students don't really go there too often, other than for examination. And yeah, again, it's just weird that they bother to lay out this whole avenue here and then a passage I think over there but no passage direct from Aldi to Vertigo. Also I think these benches just below Metaforum are actually getting um, underused significantly. And that little piano over there, I always walk or cycle across it when I return home and it's just so beautiful when someone plays it. There are some other laboratory style buildings. Uh, there's Helix, there's Sarah's Flux and Gemini Mormon Vase, a brief bit as well. I think I can literally not enter the Helix and the Gas Lab buildings over there because apparently it's locked. Here again we're passing more workspaces and laboratories and a little cafe. That's pretty rare to see. The confession here, I've only once used this uh, coffee machine and I just picked out some tea. Simply, that was on one of the days some time ago that I had a common cold. I wanted to attend here. I um, actually just picked a tea to uh, ease the pains and symptoms. Here you can actually see the uh, laboratory set up in one of those buildings. I think it's the um, Gasla building of Fontes. And via the Vertigo building, I'm going to go to Auditorium next. Mm -hmm. uh, worth noting is that there is this door that it doesn't really have a staircase on the other end even, so why does this door exist? And once again we see another random intercom right there. <laughs> why? I don't really know why at this point. Maybe because this door is actually a security lock that you open, then you stand there, you open the other. I really know why else it would be there than for um, a high level of access control. Right there, from um, Vertigo we go to Auditorium, very not quite, I just wanted to take a little shot of me doing that. Because this used to be my former main um, stay, when I had to arrive here by train, I walked that way from the TOE, right there, and then into the Auditorium building. and. That was where I mainly just relaxed out very little self at that time because, well, I didn't really have too much time. Right there, this just appears to be a random old uh, chimney, um, of which I'm only going to know what it's from when I approach it.
and there it is, this is Sarah's building, mostly used for molecular research which is why access is denied here as well. The building it actually looks fairly recent but just next to it is this old style emergency exit and behind that sits Gemini South. Gemini South is again mostly laboratories and study spaces as far as I know but there is one college lecture hall in there maybe a couple downstairs as well I don't really know this building too much out of the top of my head though I do know that on the other side sits Gemini North which is currently under construction that building over there doesn't actually belong to the TOE at all it's from the University of Applied Sciences Fontes and right here we are prey to the Flux building I've only had one lecture in here as far as I know um, and it's a pretty stark contrast compared to the old Gemini building right there I'm hoping that also gets renovated because it looks like 1970s 1980s style again I don't think I'll have access everywhere and there's not much interesting to see where I do have access just because this is a fairly modern building um, though there are these interesting little benches right there that appear to just be casted out of the same concrete that the staircases themselves are with just some wooden top whereas all the other benches around here or pretty much all the other benches around here outside are made out of wood and put onto the park like these let's try this anyway again it's mostly um, applied physics and electrical meaning that there's a lot of laboratories in here as well though there are some um, lecture rooms these trash cans actually have the cups no. side still intact I do not know why that's not the case in some of the others I came across and there is one of these privacy phone booth things again I don't know why they are only some of these right here as far as I know I didn't really use them too much either though from I did use them they're all right as far as I think and next to those are some of the only lockers that haven't yet been updated to an app based system so you still scan your card there I don't really know many of these buildings much if at all um, they, I do have something interesting to show you right behind there as I'm currently approaching a building from another institution I think SUMA is called as well as Fontes themselves um, we also approach a construction site and that construction site is going to have absolutely massive multi-section dormitory and apartment buildings installed by the Eindhoven um, student housing agency called Vestide and at the moment one of the buildings is almost complete right there the other three apparently are still in uh, under construction it's been about an hour since I first arrived here I think and it's also I think about time that I'm going to end this video though I'm going to take a nice walk over here as well so see you next time bye bye I hope you've enjoyed this video if you do please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.